while it is really the logic of windfall profits for developers, you have to think about the buyers of these buildings because they really represent, in a way, unprecedented risk and liabilities of the buyers who might come into a, a neighborhood thinking they're the gentry and find out pretty quickly that they're tower trash. <laughs> Broadway corridor being super dense from 4th Avenue to 16th, not just along Broadway. Now, I, I, I went to a book launch the other day about the car, and the author railed against the car and said there's shopping malls and parking lots and everything, and I put up my hand just like tonight. And I said, I've been riding transit pretty intensively the last year or two. And I gotta tell you, I don't see many family restaurants, nice cozy places, washrooms, drinking fountains, or any amenities in transit-oriented neighborhoods. All I see are shopping malls, big box stores, and major brands. So I think we've got to start looking at the reality of tower crash towns and transit-driven development as a major danger, not just to communities, but the environmental impact the density that's planned is excessive and it's unsupportable and we'll all pay the price. And our foot